Welcome back. Uh, we plotted some lines last time. Now we're going to see about plotting planes on our stereographic projection. So uh, last time around, uh, we drew the great circle corresponding to this plane, 34366, um, passing through the two lines that we plotted. Uh, so I'm now going to see about plotting a second plane. Uh, this one is going to have stripe 204, which is towards the south southwest, uh, and a dip of 72. Uh, before I start, I'm going to make a couple of additions to my net here. So I'm going to go into the drawing tools, um, and I'm going to pull out a shape here. I'm just going to draw a little line uh, over on the right-hand side of my net. There it is. Um, and then I'm going to go back into the drawing tools and I'm going to draw a circle uh, on the left hand side. Now when we're drawing circles, um, uh, you may recall that we can constrain the shape by holding down the shift key so to make a perfect circle. Um, uh, and then there's an additional option, we can press on the control key and that will make sure that the circle is centered on the point where we first click. Uh, so I'm going to put a little circle over here, and this is just going to be a reminder for us. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select that circle, and by holding down the shift key I'm going to select the net as well. I'm going to select the line uh, that we just drew, and I'm going to do arrange, and I'm going to do group. And that will form all of those three things into a group. Um, now the group has moved in front of the line that I already plotted, and I want it to be at the back, uh, so I'm going to uh, also do send to back, and that will send the net back behind the projection where it belongs. So the next thing to do is we need to rotate the net uh, so that we can plot a plane with strike 204. Uh, so here we go, uh, there's uh, 90 degrees, uh, 180 degrees, 200, uh, and we're going to go to 204. I'm just looking at the numbers popping up here. Uh, 23.97 is close enough. Uh, we can check that we've done it right if we want to by um, uh, going into the Arrange menu, Rotate or Flip, and then going to More Rotation Options. And then over here we can see that we did indeed rotate it 204 degrees, so that's great. Uh, so now I'm ready to draw my great circle, and the question is which side do I want to draw it on? It's going to be a steeply dipping plane that I'm representing, so it's going to be near the center of the projection. So it's either going to be on this side or on this side. When we were doing this on tracing paper, we can put the north arrow at the top of the tracing paper and, um, and draw on the right hand side. It's a little, maybe a little bit more difficult uh, this time around, or doing it this way. Um, but uh, uh, what I did here is I put the line and it's on the right hand side of the net. Uh, so what that's telling us is we're going to have to draw our great circle on this side. Um, and that will make sure that we're plotting correctly by right hand rule. Uh, so I'll go insert shapes, I'll grab my curve tool here. Uh, I'm going to zoom in a little bit. There we go, 180 degrees, that's probably good enough, 180% uh, rather, um, that's good enough. Here's my number up here, I'm aiming for 72 degrees, so I'm going to start drawing my curve here. Uh, that's the 70 degree great circle, so this is 72 degrees here. Uh, go here, go here, click, click, sticking on the line that is representing a dip of 72 degrees until we get back to the pole of the net here where I'll do a double click to finish my line. Now we could easily get these two confused so I think it's a good idea to use a different color here. Uh, so let's have uh, red for our shape outline um, and we'll pick that up and now our new great circle is showing up in red. Now we're also I think going to need a pole to this uh, great circle. Uh, so I'm going to go and grab one of these spare cross symbols that I have, and I'm going to put the pole on the diagram. And the pole is going to be on the opposite side of the diagram to the great circle, um, and so it's always going to be on the side where this dot is, and that's why I put the dot there as a helpful reminder. And whereas the uh, red great circle is 72 degrees in from the primitive, the 
uh, pole is going to be 72 degrees out from the center. So here we go, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 72 degrees. Let it go there, so there is our pole. And let's make that one red so that it's correctly associated with the great circle. Uh, so we can click on red there, and it comes out in red. And uh, if we want to, now we can rotate our net uh, back to the starting point, and there you have the projection of two steeply dipping planes, one steeply dipping uh, to the west and one steeply dipping to the east.